Hello, 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 you guys. I'm so excited. Uh, we are here today for our pre-launch party and we have our first three spotlight artists and I cannot wait to introduce them to you. I want you guys to um, please welcome our first three spotlight artists. We have Jessica Hughes, Samantha Kaplan and Kyle Hollingsworth. I am so excited you guys are here. Yay! Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go through and I'll introduce each one of these artists and um, I'll ask them a few questions so you guys can get to know who they are and what their upcoming workshops are going to be like in the Art Oddity membership. And then after the interviews and um, we get to know everyone, then I will share the offer for the Art Oddity membership and uh, show you guys how you can become a member. So, um, we will start with Jessica. I know Jessica, you are very busy and you've got to hop off here shortly. So we're going to start with you. And um, so Jessica Hughes is going to be our January spotlight artist. And Jessica is a creativity expert, visibility coach, and intuitive artist. Jess helps artists grow their business and audience by leveraging the power of mainstream media so they can get their brand visible without hiring a publicist. She also helps people understand and utilize their creativity so they can embrace their unique creative genius zone. Jessica, thank you for being here. Thanks so much for having me. I'm super excited. So tell us about yourself. I would love to hear your story again. Sure, absolutely. Um, I am an abstract intuitive painter, as you can see from behind me, but this is this company is only a year old. Um, it's my fourth art business. I've been teaching and starting businesses on and off for 30 years by now. Um, but this one was really born three and a half years ago. I changed my whole life and got divorced, went through recovery, and I really needed to use art as my way through you know, more of a therapeutic side. So I really started it. I went back all the way to three-year-old finger painting and started there. And this whole company um, that has catapulted this past year was really born out of, you know, just getting getting my fingers in paint again. And it's, uh, this year has been about 250 paintings. I wrote a book, I've been all over mainstream media and I love coaching and teaching. So I'm really excited to be be here. I'm I'm really, really excited for your workshop and I, I love everything that you're doing and that you stand for and your energy. Um, can you tell us about your workshop? Absolutely. So I thought I would go back to what I what I love to teach, which is a process that absolutely anybody can can try. And it's um, you know, I show how I go, you know, expectations always kind of block us up that need to be perfect that need to do you know really great work comparing to other people's work i mean it can get us really really shackled down with fear and so everything i teach and coach um creatively is born out of that space of it's completely safe to experiment and play and get back to the simple joy of the creative process and um, often that takes layers and layers, often like the experiences of life, we go through adversity and we come through to the other side and this beautiful, beautiful ending. And so, you know, here's an example. This is a mixed media piece that was done with um, a range of finger painted papers, a whole bunch of scrap papers that I've combined tissue paper. I love merging um, writing, free flow writing in there with it. Actually, this is a bigger piece. Using the same same process of, I don't know if you can see writing, carving back in the paint, playing with color, texture, you know, basically just intuitive freedom where we have a process of getting in the mind space of trusting that every brush stroke is on purpose every brushstroke, every mark is meant to be there. And that um, staying in that that zone where that creativity can just keep flowing and flowing and flowing. Awesome. I am I just cannot wait. I'm beyond ecstatic. Thank you so much for Absolutely. sharing that. So 
what what draws you to teaching? Ah, I think that as creatives, a lot of us are introverted and like to kind of hibernate up all by ourselves. But that can that can be great for times of creating. But I really am a passionate believer in community being the way to stay connected to people, stay more deeply connected to our work. And I love teaching because I can take everything I've learned in life and my whole experience of business, personal life, you know, resiliency, all of it, and inspire other people, give them tools, mindset to be able to approach the creative process with a lot more freedom, a lot of authenticity. I believe the world really, really needs our individual artwork and story right now. Um, and that it's really important to step into that creative genius that all of us possess, that unique stamp that only we can do. Amazing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I, I'm really looking forward to this. And thank you for being here today and sharing your story and your inspiration. And um, so thank you. I know that you've got to run. And so um, thank yep. you, Jessica. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I look forward to seeing everybody in January and really can't wait. So thank you, Laura, for putting this together. Oh, and before you go, um, go ahead and share. You've got a, a an unblocking party that you're doing <laughs> next week if you want to share that. Yeah, absolutely. So I feel like I needed to have a big pause and a creative party before the craziness of the holidays before everyone starts their resolutions and like gets serious about business again. And I really have created so much this year because I'm completely unblocked. I don't have writer's block, artist block, visibility block, any of it. And so I decided to just have a party, open this up for three days of, um, you know, the number one question that people ask me is, how have you done what you've done this year? And it's really staying in the mindset and, and the belief that anything is possible and all of the tools that I use behind the scenes to keep that flow going and going and momentum building. So I'm just inviting everybody to a virtual um, Facebook group called Art Unblock Party. And it'll be um, like an hour every day, Monday through Wednesday next week. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be there. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. All right. Thank Great. you, Jess. All right. Thanks so much. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Okay, so um, Kyle, you have popped up next on my, like <laughs> next to me. So let's go with you next. Um, Kyle is going to be our November spotlight artist. And let me see here, let me get my little introduction. <laughs> Kyle is a fine artist, illustrator, writer, creative director, singer songwriter, and of course, teacher. She has been teaching for over 15 years and currently runs her art business, Kyle Creative, in Woodland Hills, California. Thank you, Kyle, for being here today. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm very excited to be here. And I, and I love going right after Jess because we're so aligned, she and I, in our, in our philosophies and in our, in our desires. Um, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to teaching this class. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I, I just wanted to say about... Uh, I know you asked some questions and I, I, I just feel an answer coming through about why I, why I choose to teach, why I feel called to teach. I spent a great part of my life um, sort of shoving myself down and quieting my own voice um, in vocal expression and singing and drawing and painting. I mean, I've been drawing since I was a small child and it's just something that comes through me very easily. But there are periods in my life where I, I, I was so afraid to do it because I had a story that it wasn't going to be good enough, that I wouldn't get what, what was in my mind through my hand and onto paper or canvas. And so I, I got, got caught in this sort of this sort of story where I, I, I felt closed off. And I went through some really big uh, traumas and some really big self growth um, to, to, to allow that to come through. And so in the past, especially the past seven years, I would say, I have expressed myself more vocally um, and expressed myself more um, creatively through painting and drawing than I had in the previous decade, 15 years, whatever, however long it was. So it excites me to have any part in facilitating another person's breaking through that, that, that limiting belief or that fear. You know, very often when I'm in a class, I, I, I re this recently happened in a live workshop 
I had a student who literally broke down into tears because she felt so afraid and paralyzed. And it was just such a beautifully vulnerable place to be with her and to do that dance with her and also to help coach and facilitate and then witness her creating and trusting herself. And at the end of the day, she was just smiling nonstop and she created a piece of art that she didn't know she could do. Oh my gosh, I'm tearing up. Um, <laughs> that's why I do it. That's why I love to teach. And that's, that's why I paint for myself. Art is my healing. Um, yes. And so during my workshop that I'll be teaching on November 9th and 10th, uh, I want to bring, you can see some of my art around me, but I want to, I want to show some mixed media techniques that, that I use in pieces like this one. There's a lot of layers in my work. And I think that that's really representative of, of us as people. We're multi-layered, we're deep. There's a lot to us and our life kind of builds itself as a story year by year. And so I actually create that on a, on a canvas and that's what we'll be doing together. Much like Jessica, I'm really into to using like journal pages, you know, and anyone who's going to take the workshop, I encourage you now to start just like, just vomiting all the stuff in your head out onto paper, good, bad, ugly, wonderful, because those words can be a layer in the artwork. It's not that the artwork is those words, it's that it's part of the larger picture. And so during the workshop, we'll be just sort of building layers. Um, in the description I had mentioned to, to gather some papers and things, I just wanted to show a couple of really quick examples. I have a book that's from the 1800s and it literally falls apart in my hands. And so this to me is like just beautiful gold. And I use these pages and some of my paint and some of my paintings. This is something I did by hand on paper, um, different artistic papers, pieces like jazz, even pieces of, of painting on paper that I've done. Um, so we can, you know, we'll tear all these up and we'll get really juicy and we'll, we'll weave that into the artwork um, with along with some different mark making techniques and, and just some things that I've learned along the way um, that help me to create a piece of art that I feel is honest and me. Um, full self-expression. That's, that's the biggest thing I stand for awesome. because I think, I think each of us has such an authentic voice and the world needs to hear it in whatever way. So yeah, I'm super excited to, to, to do this with you all. I'm excited for this. I, you know, mixed media is something I've always wanted to do and I haven't dived into it. So I'm, I'm very, very excited. And, um, I love that. I feel like all three of our artists really are aligned with, um, the intuitive art and how it comes out. So this is kind of a unit and I'm just, I'm so excited. And Kyle, thank you so much for being here and being a part of this. Um, wow. How can people find you on, on oh. Facebook and join your group and connect yeah, with you more? Asking. <laughs> I have a Facebook group called creative with Kyle just has a couple of simple questions to to get in and I welcome anyone who wants to be there. It's a place where I share my art, myself, videos, um, other people share their creative uh, endeavors. Uh, it's really fun. You can find me on Instagram at Kyle Creative. That's where I do most of my sort of posting and sharing. And then on Facebook, um, Kyle Creative also. It's Facebook and then slash Kyle Creative Art. So you can find me all those places. I also have a, um, an email list. So if you wanna jump onto my website, um, and grab that is kylecreativeart.com. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm really excited for this workshop, you know. Uh, so that one is November 9th and 10th. It's our first, first ever Spotlight Artist Workshop, our debut artist. Thank you, Kyle. Oh, Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. All right. So next, I'm going to introduce Samantha Kaplan. She is our December Spotlight Artist. Yes. And so Sammy is a full-time artist who paints energy and a coach who teaches her students how they truly can create a life on their own terms, doing what they love. She sells her paintings for tens of thousands of dollars and helps her students achieve the life of their dreams. One of her favorite things is to teach her students how to discover who they are as individuals, their ultimate why, and how to use this discovery to create paintings that are an extension of who they are. Yes. Thank you, Sammy. Yes, thank you for having me here. It's so awesome being here. <laughs> so tell us more about your story and and how you got into art and 
Yeah, mm -hmm. so my story is quite interesting. I got into painting. I was before I was painting, I was sewing. So I was doing a lot of sewing and I was doing a lot of costume designing. And my mom was really encouraging me. This was like around middle school and high school. My mom was really encouraging me to take an art class. And I've done art in the past, but wasn't really taking it seriously. I actually didn't think I could draw or paint <laughs> until I was like 16. And um, what I discovered about painting and drawing, which was so exciting to me, is what I loved about sewing, what I was creating, is I was just playing with colors and like arranging how I want colors to be, whether it was in tote bags, I was making these intricate designs around clothing, like, but drawing and painting gave me the freedom to do it in a way where there was like no limits to what you could do. There was no limits to how you could express it. So that became really exciting to me. And it was this journey where I pursued it. I pursued a BFA in drawing and painting college along with being in cost design. And when I was pursuing that, a big part of that was me finding my voice intuitively, learning how to trust myself as a painter, learning how to go all in and trust that it's going to be OK. <laughs> I'm going to figure it out just by purely just expressing my voice, by just like trusting that whatever's meant to come to and through me, because I think believe we're all vehicles for source to work to and through, it will, and it'll be perfect and it'll be beautiful. And if I don't like it, like you, the beautiful thing I love about, especially painting, is you can always change it. It's like, it's such a beautiful forgiving medium that you could always go back into it and be like, and I often like when I create paintings, I do all different kinds of crazy things. So I'm constantly flipping my paintings. I'm looking at from different angles. I'll study them on my phone. <laughs> I'll do all different kinds of things to figure out how could I make this as great as it's meant to be. So yeah, I'm, I'm the one person out in my studio today because my studio is not in my home <laughs> and I just haven't gotten there yet today. Um, but I love creating these huge paintings and I love just showing people. I used to actually have a program just for artists and Lara was a part of it. And I love just showing people how they could paint based on who they are. I don't believe in one size fits all. That's I don't believe it with anything, whether I'm coaching painting or business. I don't believe that exists. I believe each of us have our own voice. And what I want to focus on in our workshop, it was interesting. Lara was asking me my process. And I was like, well, <laughs> my process is like, let's. what do I feel like putting on the canvas today? It's like so intuitive. But each of us have this ability to tap into what's within us. Each of us have this ability to find our voice and figure out what that looks like on paper or on canvas. And that's what we're really going to focus on is how you could find and develop your voice and truly start developing your style as a painter. So you're not trying to be a copycat. Like there's a purpose of replicating works of art is just to learn the skill set. But once you learn that, once you understand space, once you understand certain foundations of art, then to figure out, well, what's my voice? How do I portray my voice in these paintings and the works that I'm meant to create? So that's what awesome. we do in the summer. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm I've been uh I've known Sammy for what it's been a little over a year now. And I just I yeah. fell in love with her paintings. Um they're these beautiful ethereal paintings. Um so how can people find you and um and see your work? Yeah, so you can go to my website, samanthakaplanart.com. On Instagram, we just changed the name, so it's Samantha G. Kaplan now on Instagram and Facebook. But yeah, you can see all my work there. <laughs> and yeah, it's just a great place. We really try to create, make it like a place to just be inspired and connect back to your true self. So that's kind of what I'm all about. And that's just my goal with everyone I work with. Awesome. Thank you. Thank so you. what what's drawn you to teaching? To teaching? I just love helping people. It's like whether I'm teaching painting or whether I'm helping someone heal or whether I'm helping someone their business, I just love helping people. And I just love, like my whole process is, is intuitive. So I feel like there's not much difference it's just in terms of, I used to say this, it's just a difference in medium. So I don't feel like there's much difference to me painting on the canvas versus coaching because it's all intuition, like whatever, whatever comes to me in that moment happens. And I just, I just love the idea, like seeing the transformation when you see someone who starts working with you and where they are and you see them grow into the people they're meant to become to me and just see them like grow into these beautiful individuals who are just so happy and thriving and doing the work that they're supposed to be doing. To me, that's the that's just the greatest gift. Thank you. This is I'm I'm so blessed that I have <laughs> the three of you um, to be our first spotlight artists. And thank you all for being here today. Um, so I'm going to open it up and see if there's any um, viewers that have questions for you too, sure. um, or for me. So if anybody <laughs> has any questions, go ahead. You can pop them in the comments. Um, so yes. So Sammy's workshop is in December. 
Yes. And uh, so I think we said it was a December. Uh, I think it was the seventh and eighth. Yeah, I think I so. Believe. I believe that's what the dates were. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And Kyle's is uh, November 9th and 10th, right? Okay. That's right. And then Jessica's will be at the beginning of January. Um, so these do fall on weekdays. They fall on like a, a Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, the workshops will be 11 central time. So, um, so, 12 so that's uh, what that's 9 a.m. Pacific. Pacific. And, yeah. 12, yeah. Eastern, 12 yes. Eastern. Okay. Yes. Just, <laughs> yeah. um, and so I don't see any questions coming in. I see this is going to be fantastic. I know people are getting excited. I'm excited yeah. and um, it's going to be great. I cannot wait. And that that's why I created this membership is because I want to be oh. able to. Um, oh, can so Sandra people? asked if all the artists can repeat their websites. Yes. Oh, sure. Yeah, you go first, Kyle. Um, my, my website is www.kylecreativeart.com. And my Instagram is at Kyle Creative. Yeah, my website is samanthakaplanart.com and my Instagram is at Samantha G. Kaplan. All right, thank you. L Laura, I just wanna say something yes. um, really quickly. If you are thinking about doing any of these workshops, if you're thinking about whether this sort of platform and this sort of thing is for you, um, I just wanna say, give yourself a big yes, give yourself permission because you never know what is possible. And I, I know that I, I can have fear sometimes, even when I'm creating as, as much as I've been doing. And I think that that's the biggest block that most of us have. So we're going to create all three of us a very safe space in yeah. which anything is possible and everything is welcome. So just wanted to put that out there with love. And I hope to see you guys. Thank there. you. That was that was beautiful. Absolutely. And that's what this community and this membership is for is really for growth as an artist and learning from a variety of artists um you know i had this vision in my head of a membership where we could learn from a different artist each month and this was something that i felt called to do i felt called to bring this to life and um yeah be able to share this with people who want to continue to learn and grow. I feel like art is a, a lifelong learning process. It's mm -hmm. it's something that we don't ever stop, or at least for me, I don't want to stop learning. Mm -hmm. I just want to absorb as much as I can from every artist that I know. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and it's not to change anybody's style. That's not our purpose mm -hmm. or our goal. It's really just to, I mean, we all have our own beautiful style. Everybody does, everybody out there, whether they realize it or not. And it's yeah. just a matter of um, nurturing that style. And mm -hmm. so what we learn from one artist's workshop may be something small. It might be just a new um, way to apply the paint. It might be a color combination we hadn't thought of before or um, just some small thing that we can pull into our own style. And then we pull something from another workshop and then another one. And then before we know it, we have our own beautiful, unique style. And so that's that's kind of the way that I look at these workshops. And to me, it doesn't matter if it's a landscape workshop or a portrait workshop, there's value in all of them, even, even if it doesn't necessarily fit what you know you think your style is because i know sometimes we kind of get in this lane and we think this is the type of artist that we are but for me i i want to absorb it all like i said i just want to yeah i think it's i think for me it's not so much about style as it is gathering information and tools and wisdom to create your truth um because if we're creating from a place of pure authenticity and freedom then we can't but be our own style you know, it's just what comes naturally, what comes forth in that space. Yes, that's that's beautiful. Yeah, and it's true. It's one thing, it's funny, like when people, like one thing I know when Lara was asking how I teach, like I wouldn't be able to teach you how, how to replicate my style because it's so intuitive. Like there's no, I can't be like, oh, you do this and this because I just, it's like whatever comes to my head, there's no step-by-step -step process, but I don't think there should be a step-by-step -step process when creating because 
it should just be coming to and through you. And when you do that, you never have to worry about copy. You never have to worry about being in that stage because you're just creating, being a pure expression of who you already are. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I, thank fun. you. Thank yeah. you both so much for being here. And thank you to Jessica who had to hop off. Um, this replay will be available. I'm going to yeah. leave it up in the, in the group. So, um, Thank you. I know it's been about 30 minutes. I really, I appreciate your time and I'm really looking forward to these workshops. And so I'm going to share um, with the viewers how they can become a member of Art Oddity and be there with us for these live workshops. Yeah. And one thing I want to add is guys, like Lara is offering this at such a low price. I don't like, I don't yep. think you understand how inexpensive it is. I was actually telling her like, you need to increase the price. Cause it's just this, you're never going to get a deal this good. You're not with nope. this level of skill and just what you're doing. You're never going to like what I charge just for people to work with me one-on-one. -on -one, it's like, like almost like 10 times. It's like, it's just enjoy enjoy the fact that you can get access to this at such a low price just enjoy it while the opportunity is there yeah that's a tr that's a really good point i mean this is yeah. this is so un unbelievably affordable for what you receive it's yeah. pretty great it's pretty great <laughs> yeah so yeah <laughs> so if you really you. are interested join now because i know yeah. she will be increasing the price so yeah. at this time when there. It's so low, <laughs> like just seriously just reserve your spot now yeah, agreed. Thanks, ladies. All right. Thank, Thank you. you both. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Sammy.